You know, if anybody wonders why you play, and I think these guys will tell you, or why you coach, or why you, you go to games, why you follow sports, it, it's for, it's, you look at these two games we've had against them, it's, it's you know, the old, what is it, whatever that TV thing is, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, like, you know, the way we feel right now, I mean, we, 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 we don't need cars, we don't need planes, we're just floating around. And we felt that bad last Sunday when they, they threw one in with eight tenths of a second to go. So, you know, the difference between, for, for our two teams, we split. And the difference was, I mean, you talk about not even a second, right? Eight tenths of a second they made the shot. Whatever the difference was today had to be about the same. So last week they won by eight tenths of a second. This week we won by eight tenths of a second. So, you know, I guess, uh, I guess it all evened out. Now, just take us through that last play there, the, the buzzer beater that wasn't, that just kind of, right. you know, kind of take us through that. Uh, you know, what we were trying to do defensively? Yeah. But well, what if we're in that situation again? Then? Well, whatever we did didn't work, right? So, uh, well, you know, we, we, we did not want them to get the ball on the run, and they did. So the oh, first yeah. thing we were trying to do, we failed at. Was that, you know, what you want to do is not let them catch the ball with their momentum going this way. Mm -hmm. So credit to them, they, had, they, they did something, they devised something to do that. And then we want, obviously we wanted to meet them uh, closer up the floor, and we didn't do that. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we were over two with what we tried to do. Okay. So. And your reaction after the shot went down? You know, just basically like, uh, you know, I didn't know if it was good. I knew it was going to be close. And just like, uh, you know, wondering, uh, you know, why we didn't do those two things better. Obviously, you would think about that tactically. Then you start thinking about, uh, you know, what you did wrong with the big guy upstairs and, uh, you know, why that ball would go in. So, you know, but, uh, yeah. What, what's it like kind of waiting for them to review it, Andrew? Mm. It's amazing. I mean, that was an incredible, I've never been through anything like that before. I don't know if anybody actually timed it, but whatever it actually was. It was about, well over six minutes. Okay. It was okay. well over right. six so minutes. It felt well, like, I stopped counting. It felt like 60 minutes. You know, it felt like 60 minutes. And you have plenty of time to think about what we, what we talked about when we came in here. You know, the, uh, you know, how devastating it would be to lose and how unbelievable it would be to win. Well, what were they telling you? What the refs? The, yeah. The, the they right. kept saying, well, we got it, we got it. They didn't want to hear anything. So. Oh, okay. What was that like for you guys waiting? Oh, man, my stomach started hurting. At the end of the shot, I just felt so sick. And it felt like it, it was just like last game. But I just kept my head hoping hope for the best. I, I don't know. I just sat down and just wanted to wait it out and see what happened. But I was not feeling good at the time at all. I you guys. Contrary, last week came back from being down 17 down. Um, you talk a bit about that run. And I mean, the similarities in the two games, is, it's eerie. It's absolutely eerie, the similarity of the two games. I mean, it's just uh, incredible. We were up 17 last week and lost. We were down 17 this week and went. I mean, go figure that out, you know. So our guys, you know, if you wonder about these emotions they have while they're waiting, I mean, we, we've gotten beat up this year with games we felt like we should have won. And, uh you know, we are starting that these two games would happen this weekend. We basically won two games at the end of the games now, right? At the end of the two games at the end of the game <coughs> is this weekend, both of them. And all year long, we were, we were just missing. We were so close. We were just missing. We had Manhattan beat at Manhattan. We had, we had Ryder beat at Ryder. We had Siena beat at Siena. We came up empty with those. Now, we feel like we're starting to turn the corner. Now, we're starting to feel like, you know what? Now, things are starting to go our way. Friday night, things went our way. Today, things went our way. So, you know... And, and, and I think what you got to do, like the other, when we lost last week, you know, what you got to do is you can't be thinking that it's, you know, fate or anything like that. You got to be thinking like, hey, we were up 17. Shame on us for not getting it done. All right. Today, I, I don't know how they're, I can't put words in their mouth, but, you know, today, today I felt like we were down 17 and to go up two, we deserved to win. So whatever happened in the last thing there, you know, we, our kids deserved to win. They earned this. I mean, they really earned this. And they're starting to play like, uh, the team we know they can play, and I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to play us. I wouldn't want to play us. And the, the last three point whatever seconds kind of took away from what Wanya did to, with that pass and, and the dunk there. Just kind of go through that play. I think it's real simple. I heard somebody say one time, you know, uh, great players make great plays, hence the reason for calling them a great player. So when the ball's in Wanya's hands, uh, you know something great could happen, all right? So that's what happened. Games on the line. I don't know. I, you, you don't draw that up. Like he just, it just, you just have that. You just have it, and you either have it or you don't. Like you can't say, okay, well, I want you to take the ball. I want you to do this. I want you to go left. I want you to go right. I want you to fake it. I want you to find Ollie's going to come down the lane. None of that. None of that. You just put the. It's, it's all about trust. Right. That's why I think this is such a great situation for Wanya Green, because 
He's got a team. He's got a coaching staff uh, that just trust him. And here he is, a freshman, and he has this whole university let it, like just in the palm of his hands because everybody trusts him. You know, especially is. And it's uh, you know, if I'm Wanya Green, I can't think of a better uh, a better situation to have that trust that he has from all his teammates and his coaches. So Wanya, you take it to that play um, because you they had to come to you because you scored so many points. Yeah. Well, I was just trying to. Uh, he, run, he told me to run a play to get a switch. So after the switch, I was just going to be my man off the dribble. But after I see I didn't have that, I saw a man open. I gave him the ball. I made the play for my other team. You said you trust an alley to make that play. He's a guy that hasn't been in there at the end of a lot of games. You talk about you know, throwing him the ball there? Um, I trust everybody. You know, I, I love my teammates. That my teammates love me. And I try to make plays for my teammates before I make plays for myself. So. Anything else? All right. Thanks, fellas. Okay.